here we go. Uh, final weekend of the NFL season is upon us, football fans, and then we march into the playoffs. So I went back and did research on what has transpired with TV ratings because the TV relationships with the NFL continue to grow and expand, much to the demise of free viewing. There is so much stuff, John, that's showing up on streaming. And outside of you, the rich man living in the gated community <laughs> studios here, I have to come to your place to watch some of these streaming. But Amazon got the Thursday night football package a year ago. First year was a disaster. Uh, had only 8 million viewers per game. They paid a phenomenal amount of money. They had a bunch of really bad games that somehow got funneled into Thursday night. Well, they barked. They got a better schedule in year two. Ratings bumped up a little bit. Went from 8 million last year on Thursday night football to 11.8 million this mm -hmm. year. A bump up. Got some better games. However, they badly trail all the other NFL network deals. Okay, CBS and Fox on Sunday, rock solid, historical. Everybody knows who they are. 24 million per game, each network. Each network averaged 24 million viewers. Phenomenal statistics. Both of them increased from a year ago. So Sunday, primetime football, very good. Sunday night football, 21.8 million. That's really good because everybody's exhausted from watching early games and the 4 p.m. games. They're zooming back in to see Tariqo and Collinsworth, who I thought did a really good job. 21.8 million uh, for Thursday night football on NBC. Monday night football, ESPN, the most watched games ESPN has ever had since they took over the Monday package. 17 million average on Monday night football. I think a lot of people like Joe Buck and Troy Aikman, mm -hmm. and they've gotten their fair share of showdown games. couple of other notes. Peacock, they had the one game streaming. If you recall, two Saturdays ago, Chargers, Buffalo Bills, when neither one of us <laughs> could find a place to go watch it, we were both steamed. Chargers, Bills, they drew only 7.3 million. It's the worst streaming number for the entire season on anybody's packages. Mm -hmm. So Peacock, not everybody bought into it. Oh, and by the way, speaking of the Chargers, the Charger Raider game, the Thursday night prior, yeah, the 63-21 <laughs> yeah, game, that fiasco. I expect your resonation on my desk the next morning game. <laughs> they only drew $7.8 yeah. for that game. Yeah, Nobody's watching the Chargers. Yeah. I mean, so I, that, I, that's I an issue. It. And then we get to Sunday Ticket, uh, DirecTV, obviously. Uh, had it for a while. They had 1.1 million subscribers a year ago. It moved this year to YouTube. They had only 1.3 million subscribers at almost double the price. Price was $299, went to $499. They almost doubled it, and they only got 1.3 million. They need 5 million to break even, the amount of money they gave the National Football League. So DirecTV sitting there looking at what happened. YouTube must be sitting and say, boy, did we overpay for this? Because we we came nowhere near to getting the 5 million subscriptions that we need. Like I said, they got only 1.3 million. So that's a summary of, of TV. Thursday night football, a bump up. CBS and Fox, superb. Sunday night football, rock solid. ESPN, Monday night football, uh, with some good games and some bad games. Monday night football had the best year the ESPN's ever had. Uh, and then you got Peacock struggling and DirecTV watching the package go away, the Sunday ticket to YouTube and YouTube having its hands full. One sidebar note, Chargers telecasts in the San Diego market. Uh, the Chargers, once upon a time, uh, would draw anywhere from 16 million viewers on Sunday to 21 million. Mm-hmm. Chargers left seven years ago. Chargers telecast now, 8.4 million. They've lost about 60% of the viewership in San Diego that used to watch Chargers football telecast. It's way down. Yeah. So that's that's the summary. John, you watch a lot of TV. You're <laughs> as blurry-eyed as I am sometimes on Monday. Go ahead, your response to what you like or what you dislike about the TV packages. Well, everything you said makes sense because the old school, you know, cable package with Fox, CBS, ESPN, NBC, you know, 
you know, your, your dad, your grandfather, they're still watching NFL with those packages. So it makes sense that their ratings would be strong and rising as the sport builds, but Peacock and, you know, and somebody, and, and Thursday night football on Amazon, that's the streaming world. And mostly it's mostly younger people that are on that. So this is just going to continue to evolve. I, I see a future for sports media where you're going to a la carte everything rather than buying a big package from Cox Cable or from DirecTV Stream or YouTube TV, I think people are going to cherry pick the one or two or three networks. And that's where this whole thing's going. So over time, these numbers are going to change. And as far as the Chargers go, yeah, of course, the, re the viewership would go down in San Diego. But I, st I was reading an article or what? Well, maybe it was, was it your best 15 where they were saying how the media professionals or the in, in the NFL CLA and San Diego is a continuous market but I imagine there's a lot of football fans in San Diego that say you know f this Chargers Broncos mess I don't want to watch this there's a lot of other better games on was it you that stood up in front of the TV as the Raiders were leading 62 to 7 <laughs> was it you that stood up in front of the TV and they had the shot of Spanos trying to hide in the shadows of his owner's booth was it you that did yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, I'm surprised you didn't either. I mean, you've got a grudge against those guys too. So that's where we are in terms of the TV <laughs> and media. Hey, if you like what we're doing, we want you to join us on Fans Forum right at the end. Who's going to win? Michigan, Washington. Your reaction to what you like, what you dislike, what TV's going to become. Join us in Fans Forum. Just go to the chat box now so you can get in line. When we wrap up this live stream, we'll give you the chance to ask questions and we'll tell you what we think. And a sidebar question at the end of the argument, aside from why you did what you did to Spanos, um, do you think we'll get to the Super Bowl will be a paid TV event down road? I mean, because yeah. there's mega money, but is that fair to society? Well, what, what's fair to society? They're providing a product or a service and people, if they want to experience it, they can pay for it. So I don't, I don't, I definitely see it going that way at some point. And I don't think it's necessarily a wrong thing. Um, if the viewers are willing to pay for it, but it's going to ruffle feathers all over the place. Would you expect an answer from this guy in left field? This is the guy that <laughs> thinks the NIL has been great for college yes, football. That's this good. guy says Trevor Bauer has a right to earn what he yes, is going to earn. Okay, we get to halftime. Our podcast.